I'm here today to show you how you can use relays to control a linear actuator. A relay is an electromagnetic switch that can be operated by a smaller current to turn on and off a much larger current. Relays consist of two isolated circuits, one control circuit used to control the switch and the other circuit containing the switch. As the control circuit is energized, current flows through a coil that produces a strong enough magnetic field to close the switch. When the coil is de-energized, the switch opens again. This allows you to control the switch with an electrical input from a sensor or microcontroller rather than a mechanical input from a user. Relays are defined by how they operate based on the number of poles and throws it has. Number of poles refers to the number of internal circuits and the number of throws refers to the number of on positions. You can get relays that are single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, and double pole, double throw. For relays with two throws or on positions, the connection that is made when the coil is not energized is labeled as normally closed, and the connection that is made when the coil is energized is labeled as normally open. You cannot control a linear actuator directly with a relay, as you need another component to energize the coil to control the internal switch. But as the input, can be pretty straightforward. I'll show you a couple examples using different relays. Here's the setup with the one double pole double throw relay. As this relay has two internal circuits, we can easily flip the polarity of the voltage to the linear actuator, allowing us to drive it forward and back. You can either connect the actuator to the top two connectors, flipping the positive and negative leads, or you can connect the power supply to the top two connectors, doing the same thing as I've done here. Once uh, you have this set up, you can simply just energize the coil and your linear actuator will move. So I'm just going to use these leads to touch the uh, on the power supply side to uh, energize my coil. As you see, there's one downside to this configuration, and that is you can't stop the actuator in between the two extreme positions of the stroke length. You'll want to make sure you're using a linear actuator with internal limit switches, like this one, to ensure the system turns off when it reaches its end positions. You also want to make sure that the starting positions, whether fully extended or fully retracted, are connected to your normally closed connections. This setup may be suitable for you if you want to only fully extend and fully retract your linear actuator. But to have more control, we can use a two single pole double throw relay configuration. This is the single pole double throw configuration. In this setup, I'm using two relays to control the direction of the polarity of the voltage to the linear actuator, as well as disconnecting the power to the linear actuator. I've connected the negative leads of the power supply to both of the normally connected positions of both of these relays, and connected the positive lead of the power supply to both of the normally open connections of the relays. This allows me energize one coil of one of the relays to allow the linear actuator to extend, then de-energize that coil to stop the linear actuator, and then energize the other coil to retract. Again, de-energizing it to stop it. And that's how you use relays to control a linear actuator. You can find all the products I've used in this video and much more at forgelliauto.com.